welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would review the market. We had a massive, massive, massive sell-off yesterday, which was Tuesday. So the week started out, you know, like we were going to have a sell-off to begin with. And I called puts in lots of things on the 27th. That was Monday. Got up Tuesday morning. We crashed. I knew this would be a volatile week. Here we are today. We gapped up today. We're trying to lift. We're failing to do it. Could we continue higher? Sure, we could. But I really wouldn't think that this is a place that you want to go hog wild long. But the problem is people love to buy dips. So people are buying this dip here. Again, not knowing what's going to happen between Thursday and Friday with the government shutdown, this would be a crazy idea to take any new positions here, quite frankly. We shorted things here. We made money on the drop. Got it. Beautiful day yesterday. Fabulous day yesterday. Now you just wait. You just wait. You just wait for the next setup. The next setup could be long. The next setup could be short. But you don't just take anything to take it. And I certainly wouldn't be going hog wild in here. I don't buy dips. That's not what I do. I look for bullish gaps. This is not enough bullish, good enough bullish gap here today to go long. I, if I rated this at gap as a bullish gap per my 26-point golden gap rating system, I would not go long this today. We did it. Okay? But we didn't short this either. Okay? So anyways, this makes me think about a lot of things that are going on right now, specifically, you know, with all of the shortages, you know, of what's going on with the supply chain, with inflation, with the number of job openings available. And again, I live in Manhattan, just going out and about in the city as a consumer, and just, just as a person, you know, trying to get things done. It, it seems like it's like pulling teeth and it's so difficult to get anything done anymore. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it just feels like even when you go into a store, even when people are working, one, stores don't have enough people working. I mean, that's just fact. It's probably the same way where you live, too. I think this is just like across the board. Stores don't have enough employees. That's number one. Number two, the people that are working, like, don't care. It's It's like... It's just like people don't even care anymore. I mean, I don't even know what's happened. It, to be honest with you, I blame the government. I blame the government 100%. The government gave out so much free stimulus money. It's still giving out free stimulus money. Whether you're working or not, people just don't care anymore. I don't know. understand this mindset, wanting to live off the government. You're never going to be rich living off the government. Never, 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 never. People have like no get up and go. Like, people aren't motivated. Like, they don't even care about their job or doing a good job anymore. And again, I'm generalizing. I may not be talking to you. You may do a great, fabulous job at your job, whatever you're doing. I'm just generalizing here. But I'm saying, like, I'm just noticing what's happening here in the country. It's just so strange. And it's sad. It's sad to see. It's sad to see a fabulous, thriving city like New York just go down the tubes. And part of it is the leadership in New York City. That's absolutely true. But a major part of it is covid Major part of it is COVID. And remember, people, I mean, we were all locked in our homes for 30 days back in March into April of 2020. That time period and then the slowness to get back to going to normal really just created laziness in people. It just did. And even people that are back to work, if I feel like people are lazy now. Like people just don't care. There's like no get up and go, no motivation. If you want to make your life better, there's no other person that's going to do it besides you. If you want to become wealthier, there's no other person that's going to do it besides you. If you don't like your job, find another job. If you're not happy about what you do when you get up in the morning and you go to work every day, find something else to do with your life. You can't live off the government forever. Nobody ever should expect to do that. And as far as going to your job, you want to feel good about what you want to do. You want to love it. And I think the nice thing about trading is you can make extra money on top of your regular job. Nobody said you had to quit your job and trade. Nobody said that at all. Some people want to be a full-time trader. Some people want to be part-time traders. Some people just want extra income. This is a nice thing that you can do for extra income. You can trade one day a week, one week out of the month if you want to. But I think it's just like people, I just notice it's like, you know, it's just this lack of caring and motivation. And, and again, the best way I can describe it is a lack of get up and go. And again, I blame the government. But we're in this situation now where how are we going to move forward as a society to care, to be productive people in society? And even the stimulus money that the government is giving, I can tell you right now, it's not going to last. It absolutely will not last. And the cost of things is going up. So even with the stimulus money, the cost of things is going up, so it doesn't make equate the difference. So these are all the things that I'm noticing. I mean, it, it is just so obvious here in New York. I don't know where you live. 
It may be obvious where you live, it may not be, but I'm telling you, it is extremely obvious here in New York City how lazy people have got, how very few people are working, and the people that are working just don't seem to care anymore. I always was a type A personality where I always worked hard, and that's why I'm, I'm good at working for myself. But I'm telling you, like, as a consumer, I want to see people that care about their job and aren't lazy and do their job well. And I want to get serviced if I go into a store and want to buy something. And I want the product to be there. I want the, the shelves to be stacked. <laughs> I, want it, I want things to be there, not in the back room. You know, I mean, it's just crazy what's going on right now in this country. Absolutely crazy. And the problem is, I don't know when we're going to get out of it. I don't know when things are going to get better. I mean, here we are. It's almost October. Friday's October 1st, 2021. COVID's a hit in March of 2020. When are we going to get through this? Like, when is life going to be back to normal? I have no idea. And I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel at this point, which is a problem. So I don't know. For now, we're waiting on the market. We're going to see the next move. Good luck, people. If you're interested in signing up for my class and learning how to trade from me, my next class is October 9th and 10th. Email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. Cost to the class is $6,999. You can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com for sign up forms if you want to sign up. And you can learn how to trade gaps. And we'll really see where we go here tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow's Thursday. Should we get the unemployment claims tomorrow morning? That could create a rally, could create another sell off. We'll wait and see. Have a good day, everyone.